Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's so lovely to see you again. Thank you for joining me. It has been a whirlwind of emotions and events and as you can see I am back in my house and that goes without saying that I have officially finished my foundation course at East 15 Acting School. Woo! Sir H is done, I am done, auditions are done, but before I get into that please like and subscribe to my channel, it means a massive amount to me and it shows that you're enjoying my content. If you are new to this channel, hi, my name's Farah, I am training in acting as well as fight and stunt work and I've just finished my foundation course at East 15 Acting School. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am done with my first drama school course. It's not been the easiest. I'd say coronavirus has made actors training especially challenging. A lot of our lessons hadn't been face to face in the first two terms. Luckily, majority of it was in the third term, which was a blessing. Our skills lessons such as singing and voice were on Zoom for most of the year. And unfortunately, our final year showcase did get canceled due to a few students having to isolate. But, you know, these things happen and I'm a lot more grateful that no one was seriously ill. It was very weird, we went from being ready for a really intense tech week to it coming to a standstill in the space of three days, which was crazy. It felt weird, and I know it's not the end of the year we all wanted, but I'd much rather prioritise people's health over, you know, a show. And we had it for what it was. It was an incredible devising experience. I have recordings and were able to remember it as it was when we were enjoying doing it without restrictions because if we did try and do it in the theatre we probably would have had to have worn masks and socially distanced and it just wouldn't have been the same show. Our show was called A Moral Comedy which was based off of Dante's Divine Comedy. Give it a read, it's brilliant, I loved it. And it's all about an artist called Donna who loses her ability to write songs and she feels very uninspired. So like Dante, she goes through the journey of hell purgatory and heaven to find the ability to write songs again and it's great because she's guided by Vincent van Gogh <laughs> and as soon as she gets to heaven then she's guided by this ethereal beautiful bird and it was so much fun our group got tasked with heaven which was a challenge because you know what does heaven look like universally what does heaven look like and so to kind of get a representation and how to put that together into a show was so much fun. We came up with some crazy and really wholesome scenarios that you would just have to be there to understand because some things you look at it and go, where? <laughs> now, in the midst of all the madness, as you remember, my last few videos have been about self tapes and auditions, what to do, what not to do. I'm so thankful my friends let me use them so we could show you the aggravating and hilarious side of filming auditions, but now that's all done and dusted, I can give you the final verdict of year three of auditioning. And I am very, very thankful that after three years of auditioning and all of the work, after having no recalls <laughs> in my first year of auditioning and a lot of rejections also in my second year, to then getting accepted onto the cert course. I'm very happy to say that I've been waitlisted for GSA and I've been waitlisted for East 15, which is a massive improvement. So much progress. I am so proud of myself because it's been a journey financially and mentally. However, in the last few days, there has been a bit of an update in my life because I thought I was going to be on the waitlist till I died of old age, but the universe had other ideas. And still kind of processing this, but in the last few days, I am very grateful to inform everyone that I've been offered a place for acting and stage combat for East 15. <laughs> I have no idea where to put myself. I am happy, yeah. Universally, I am happy. It's been a lot of work. I won't deny the, the process has been a lot and I'm absolutely ecstatic. I cannot wait 
to start my new journey. And I still can't believe that after three years, I've not only found my dream course, but I've also been accepted onto my dream course. So thank you to all of my family and friends that have supported me throughout the years and always encouraged me. I am eternally grateful. And those of you who told me that it was a silly career and that I should move on and try something else. But no, I am very, very happy. Honestly, this is living proof for all of you that are applying for drama schools. You've been doing it for a few years. This is your first year. Keep trying. Do not give up. Rejection is part of the business. You are gonna go through a lot of rejections, but if you keep at it, that is a message to yourself that you want it. And I know that feeling now that I'm so glad I didn't give up after the first year or give up after the second you just feel that sense of fulfillment that you've kept going it's so satisfying and it's so great and i wish all the best of luck to any of you that are still auditioning this year are still having recalls keep going you're doing amazing you're smashing it not sponsored but shout out to sticky cherry for these gorgeous earrings oh my gosh I don't have an obsession, but they are amazing. They're so cool and shiny, and I like them. Hee <laughs> hee. And I'll definitely be talking about it in more videos to come, but in this video, let's round off the year. Auditions this year have been a very different process. A lot of waiting around, most of it's been online, and part of me quite likes having auditions, especially first rounds online live or self tapes because it saves traveling and money especially when you don't even know you've got a recall or not spending that whole day traveling down waiting to not actually know what's going on but you've spent all that money it's just it's been so much more convenient to do a first round and submit it obviously didn't really much enjoy the waiting though that was uh, <laughs> that's something i definitely will not miss <laughs> how many months waiting for first round second round results to come through <laughs> This year, I've definitely learned about what schools I'm more interested in than others. And I know I wouldn't have auditioned for 11 schools because let's be real, it drains the bank account. It is expensive. And I will definitely say, do your research. It is so important to research into schools you're auditioning for because again, you're saving money. If you read up on a school website and you see, for example, what practitioners you're gonna be studying. Is the course more physically based? Is the course more text based? Where where have your alumni been? Like what the more research you do into a school, the more you can determine if you actually want to invest your hard-earned pennies into it auditioning. There are so many things that you can do. Check their websites, ask your friends, ask people that have been to the school, DM current students and alumni, go to open days, go to online events, or join groups on social media. There's just so many avenues to find out information about drama schools rather than just winging it, going and hoping for the best. Not only might you be interested in the school itself for specific reasons, but you might want to do a specialist course like the one that I'm going to be doing. For example, I know this because it is the school that I go to and I've done my research, but East 15 has a plethora of specialist courses. We have acting and stage combat, acting and physical theatre, acting and community theatre, world performance, we have acting international, contemporary theatre. It's great and it's really helpful for the industry because nowadays being a triple threat, it's kind of a dated term. It's more about you and what individually you bring to the industry rather than just having a oh I can sing, dance and act and that's me sorted for the next 10 years like no there are so many other things that you can do and so many other things you can bring to the industry make you stand out maybe look into specialist courses because they give you the same amount of actors training intense BA acting but you're also doing a specialist module on the side such as combat or physical theatre or contemporary theatre I know some schools are developing their BA acting courses to be a lot more broad and varied. Like, for example, some schools are introducing motion capture into their courses or dedicating more first year time to screen acting. So do your research. Keep up to date with the most recent information because sometimes they don't update their websites very regularly 
and some of the information can be quite dated. So do your research, look into it, ask around before you start spending them pennies on the schools. So now that I'm back home, what is the crack? What am I up to? Well, over the summer I'll be working for a festival events company which is really exciting because it's so nice to be around performers as well as earning money and they previously used to work for the fringe so after, I know since I've been to the fringe myself it's nice to see that kind of familiarity again so very exciting. Other than that now I've got my offer I'm having to sort out all the boring finance and banking and all that stuff. <laughs> Such fun, love that. I'm meeting my new course mates online and I'm so happy to see some of my old course mates from Sir on there. I'm so happy to see their faces again. It is nice to see some familiar faces. And I'm sure they're happy to be putting up with me for the next three years. They can't wait for that. And I look forward to seeing them in October. I'm actually contemplating not opening some of my boxes with my belongings in them because I've only just moved back but I'm gonna be gone before I know it, so I don't think my mum can fit anything else in the cupboard, so I think I'm just gonna leave my boxes packed downstairs. <laughs> oh wow, the next three years are gonna be amazing. I'm so excited to see what happens. Hopefully COVID doesn't prevent as much of a challenge and I'll be fully vaccinated by the time I go to drama school in October, so. We'll see how that goes with the new policy and of course I'll keep you updated if you are interested in applying. And now that I won't have to be auditioning for a while, I'd love to make some more recent audition advice videos for picking schools, picking monologues, self-tape advice, all that jazz. So keep posted, I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted, <laughs> you keep an eye out and I will hopefully be reposting some stuff very soon. If you would like to see my original video on audition advice, I will put that above where I did a video with Danny and Lauren, which was a lot of fun. So lots of advice, take some notes because it is very helpful. So take a look. And thank you so much for joining me today. It has been a long time coming celebration and I'm very grateful to finally have reached this point in my life. And if you have any questions for me, please comment on the YouTube channel or DM me on my Instagram. I will leave that down below. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Subscribe the channel. English Farah. Come on, get it together. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys later.